Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Steve and I am the coach, founder, operator of Rhythm Hit, uh, a training hit studio in North Lakes. We do boxing sessions, strength workouts, hit workouts, and we're currently, myself and my partner, and one of the guys here is currently a week out from entering the Kokoda Challenge down the Gold Coast. Uh, if you don't know about it, it's a 96 kilometer hike through the Gold Coast hinterlands. I've never done it before. Uh, before going into this, we only had seven weeks notice. One of the previous members that used to train with us here, he hit me up and called me and said that he, his team uh, that were entering the, the challenge had pulled out and if I'd be keen to do it. So over the phone, I just said, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so here we are, one week out. Uh, in this video, I wanna show you all the things that I've prepared and organized, all the equipment uh, that I'm taking down. I'm not too sure what to expect. I've done a little bit of research uh, from a few other people that have completed before, plus just all the hiking uh, videos and uh, YouTube videos that I've been watching. So keep watching and I'll show you the equipment list uh, that we've got. I should probably mention as well, the fitness that we do here in the studio is completely different to the hiking that we'll be doing down in the hinterlands, I'm sure. Uh, what we do here is very strength-based, very explosive, cardio-based, nothing long endurance uh, like the 96Ks. But over the last few weeks, we've done a few uh, hikes in the area. Uh, we've done the gun gun uh, a bunch of times. Uh, we've done the inaugural reserve, which is, uh, 11k loop around a few weeks ago that was probably the longest ever that i've done we did two loops around that the the first lap we just walked and then the second lap uh we ran and i think we completed that in about three and a half hours uh a couple weeks ago we did the Somerset trail uh up at mount me and if you're in the sunshine coast uh area i would highly recommend that trail it was a beautiful trail uh, if you've done the gun gun a ton of time, which I know that's the, one of the most popular spots to do a mountain climb uh, and you're getting bored of that one, I would go to the Somerset Trail uh, up at Mount Me. Uh, it's a beautiful trail. It's about 13 kilometers uh, round trip. Uh, and the day that we did that, we did two laps around it. So I think it took us about five and a half hours. Um, and yeah, we just, we just walked it. Uh, it was... 26 kilometers, uh, just over 26 kilometers for the two laps, so 13 kilometers a lap, and they had just a extra little loop there, so just to round it up, up to uh, 30 kilometers, we went around the small loop a couple times. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, a part of the training, because Kokoda will be walking all through the night, uh, me and one of the guys here, we set our alarms for 1 a.m. in the morning, we met up at Mount Nagun Gun at 2 a.m. with our headlamps, uh, completely different uh, walking at night. If I'm being honest, it was actually kind of scary. I, I got out my car and um, I thought, nah, I'm gonna sit in my car while I wait for Jaden to, to rock up. So we ended up doing four laps up Mount Nagun Gun, which took us about two and a half hours. Um, we started at 2 a.m. and I think we we're done by about 4.30. So uh, that's pretty much all the training that we've done leading up to the Kokoda. Uh, last week, the Kokoda, they did a test run. Uh, they opened up the section of the course, uh, which was about an 18 kilometer round trip. Uh, so we did that as well. So we've done a 22 kilometer um, walk run, uh, a 30 kilometer walk, uh, the nighttime trek, and the uh, Kokoda uh, course, just a test testing day. Um, that's all the uh, training that we've done for it. Uh, where I'm not too sure what to expect. I think I'm actually really excited for it. 96 kilometers, it should be pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, that's the training that we've done. All right, hey guys. All right, so I'm just gonna dig deep into uh, the bags that I got here to show you what we've packed uh, for the Kokoda Challenge. Um, starting from the top, uh, I've got our rhythm visor. So, uh, yeah, I, I've used this on a couple of our hikes and it's been pretty comfy, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, another thing that I thought, which is a must, uh, throughout this as well, I'll pop the, the costs and the links um, 
to where you can get all these items uh, and how much it costs uh, somewhere around this video and in, this, in the description as well. Um, I've got this Columbia rain jacket. So I think this was one of the things that I wanted to spend a little bit of money on. Uh, so when we're going through the hike, uh, if it does rain, then uh, we'll be protected uh, from the wet. So uh, Columbia rain jacket. Then uh, I got these from Amazon. They're just like a water bottle that um, is made of plastic and uh, can scrunch up. So I thought it might be a good time, uh, like a good space saver. Uh, they're nice and light. So these were pretty cheap as well, just off Amazon. Um, next up, we've got a couple pairs of the Injinji uh, socks. So these socks are the socks that have the toes in them. Um, these are the first time I've worn these. Uh, before and yeah, these are great. They stop the rubbing in between your toes. They're really comfy I've got just the standard uh, black pair and then we've got some cool funky um, Kind of high high socks as well um, I've seen a lot of uh, other people on on hikes wearing the Injinji brand uh, socks. So I think uh, they were a good choice uh, I've also got uh, a beanie. I think this is gonna be uh, one thing that would definitely going to use through the night to keep warm. Doing that uh, 2 a.m. hike up in the gun gun, it was pretty cold uh, on my face um, and on my head uh, going up there. So uh, we've got a beanie. Uh, digging deep into this more, we've got some hiking sticks. Uh, so these are just cheap hiking sticks off Amazon. I did actually have another pair uh, of these that I got and doing the test run through the uh, Gold Coast um, track uh, actually snapped a pair so I'm hoping that these don't snap uh, while I'm out there. They, I, I did think that they were uh, a bit dorky uh, before I knew anything about them but watching all the uh, pro hikers and trail runners they've all got these so uh, and we used them when we did the Gold Coast run and they definitely take a load off your legs especially when you're going uphill and then you kind of can use them uh, to slow yourself down when you're going downhill. Uh, next up, one of the uh, requirements was a first aid kit. So everyone in the team had to have a first aid kit. So this is just off Amazon as well. It's got uh, like 50 different things in there uh, to use, uh, all the bandages and um, sterile wipes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got uh, another, uh, so this is my partner's uh, uh, walk, uh, hiking sticks. So these are probably the better quality one. I think uh, these collapse down and fold down uh, a little bit smaller. Uh, but these are also the ones that I did manage to snap <laughs> when we're going down the um, the test run. So that's uh, I'll put a link for these ones up there as well. Uh, but I think as long as you're not trying to be a hero like I was and race down the hill, then you should be fine not falling and breaking your sticks. Uh, next up, I've got a, uh, a backpack. So um, not knowing anything uh, about hiking or the equipment, um, I went with this one. I think it was only like $34 from Amazon. Uh, it is good. It's got uh, a two liter bladder in there. Um, it works fine. It, I haven't, I've used it a bunch of times and it hasn't uh, yeah, been any issues. The only thing that I would recommend if you were doing something like this is to get one of the actual vests because the vests they have uh, a couple guys that we've been going with, they've got the uh, pockets and water bottle sleeves uh, on the front. They've got a couple extra compartments where it's just easy to get to. So if you're wanting to get stuff out of the back, you don't have to stop and ask a teammate, oh, can you grab this out? Uh, so you'll be a little bit more self-sufficient and I think the vest actually can hold a little bit more as well. Once I put in the first aid kit in here, like I struggled to get much more in there. I can only fit like a few extra gels and stuff in there. So um, that would be my tip. I'm gonna stick with this and I'll probably do another video after we do the, uh, the challenge to give everything else a bit of a review and yeah, let me let you know where uh, I would change things. Um, but that uh, is just an Amazon find. Like I said, it's, it's pretty good. It does, does the job, it's, it's comfy. Uh, next up, I got, so because that was a little bit small, I got these and 
to be honest, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be using them. My idea with this is it's just like a pouch that you can put stuff into and then you roll it up like, like that and then you can buckle it up. So I thought I could buckle that up and kind of just hang it off one side of my bag. So if I do need to uh, unclip it and uh, grab whatever food or my phone out of there, I can. Uh, we'll see, I actually haven't used this yet. So we'll see if it could be a little bit annoying having that dangling down, but it's just like an extra bit of storage, which hopefully is a good idea. Um, so there's a couple others. This is uh, way too big. The uh, purchase that I made on Amazon uh, came with three different packs. It could be good. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll just use it for extra storage in the bag. Um, this bag as well is one of my favorites, the, the Verve Duffel, duffel bag. Um, it's like a, a really good quality bag and it's got like a ton of different storage components in here as well. So if you're looking for uh, a good bag uh, that's a duffel bag with a good size, good amount of different pockets for storage. Definitely look at the Verve uh, bag. Uh, next up, uh, we'll show you this one. So when I did that 2K uh, or that 2 a.m. hike up in the gun gun, uh, one thing that I wish I had have had was something just to stop the wind burn on my face. Like it was pretty dark, uh, sorry, it was pretty cold um, that night and having that cold wind just bash against your, your face and your lips uh, might lead to, yeah, chap lips. So uh, I got these face masks again, just another Amazon find. Uh, you pop it around your neck and then you can wiggle it up to wherever, if I get this right, uh, wiggle it up around your ears, so like that. So yeah, protects your uh, neck, protects your, your ears, your mouth. Um, I think that is gonna be pretty useful through the night as well. So we've got uh, two of those, one for each of my, uh, one for my partner, one for myself. Um, <laughs> so uh, you might laugh at this. Like I said to Shay, there's this thing, she was worried about slowing the team down because she's a female and I don't know, this might be too much information. She probably doesn't want me to share this to be honest. Uh, but she ended up getting a Shiwi. So, I don't think I need to go into too much explanation of what this is. Females, you probably already can guess what this is. Uh, it's a shiwi. <laughs> All right, so next up, uh, we're getting towards the end. Oh, I got my blenders, so where's my sunglasses? These, uh, I went through a couple pairs of these, um, and I think this pair is by far my uh, favorite ones. Just just the look of them, they're nice and light. They're, uh, they've, they've been comfortable when I've went out uh, on our hikes as well. So I'll put a link to these in the description, but uh, yeah, blenders, sunglasses, um, these are my favorite. I've got two other pairs uh, that I've used as well, uh, but yeah, definitely check these out if, and they're like so affordable as well. Uh, I know like Oakley's, they're up around the 200 plus mark. Um, I think I got these on special when they did a 40% off sale. So they were only like 50 bucks, even less. Uh, so I'm super happy with these. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, just more so, oh, actually these gloves. So I think walking through the night, your hands will freeze. Uh, so this, these gloves, another Amazon find, uh, yeah, these will keep your hands warm through the night. I think these are, are an essential um, piece of equipment that you'll, a piece of clothing that you'll, you should definitely take. Uh, and I think the time of year that we're going as well in July is going to be pretty cold. Uh, so that is our gloves to keep our hands warm. Uh, after that, what have we got uh, floating around here? That's pretty much the bulk of it. Um, for, for my clothes that I'm going to wear, I actually forgot to, to pack them in here to show you. Uh, but I just got a couple dry fit Nike trail, uh, shirts. Um, yeah, they're just a comfortable, comfortable shirt. Uh, I did, I did get some thermal pants and, uh, long sleeve shirt. Uh, I'm, I might just add it in uh, a little bit later. So I got a thermal, uh, a pants and long sleeve shirt and uh, the brand of those just from Amazon. It's a really affordable brand. Uh, it's called TSLA 
And I also get got some uh, briefs as well. And the briefs are so comfortable. I've been wearing them every day. Uh, I'll definitely share them with you. Uh, but walking through the night, I think they'll, they'll keep you warm. Um, having the long sleeve as well uh, should protect your arms against like any lantana or bushes and stuff that are brushing up against you. When I've went out for the last couple of hikes uh, over the past few weeks, uh, I've started the hike off wearing them and then after a few hours, this you do get pretty warm in them, I've taken them off. So I think, and doing that hike at night as well, uh, yeah, it definitely kept me nice and warm. So de definitely invest in some of those. Uh, what's next? Okay, so uh, I might. So uh, this was the first pair of shoes that I got for Kokoda, which is the Nike Wild Horse. And the first time I put these on, they they felt amazing. Um, like the the cushion in these is next level. Like I haven't uh, ever used trail running shoes before. So uh, the trail running, I think probably most trail running shoes have. A decent, uh, an extra amount of tr uh, cushion in the shoe, uh, and the tread on the bottom on most trail running shoes is, uh, yeah, a lot greater than just a regular kind of running shoe. So I got these, and then I also got a pair of the Asics uh, trail running shoes. Uh, I forgot to bring them, but I'll might add them in later on in the video. Uh, but yeah, uh, and something that I noticed with a couple of the trail runs that we did was my right ankle really rolled in. Uh, so something that I got, which I think they were only like $15, was these uh, shoe inserts. So um, yeah, they just have like extra arch support there to help uh, your foot from not rolling in. And uh, like I've been, I, they didn't really take much wearing in. Uh, like they felt pretty comfortable ever since uh, I put them in. So if you're having problems with your feet rolling in, um, yeah, definitely have a look at those. And we got two pairs of shoes because I've heard that there's a few creek crossings uh, throughout this. And I think if you're going through a creek and your feet are getting wet, you probably don't want to be wearing the wet shoes for the whole time. So changing your shoes over, rotating them through each of the 20 kilometer uh, checkpoints, I think it's a pretty good idea. So uh, that's the shoes that uh, I've got for uh, the hike as well. Uh, going into a little bit of the nutrition, um, just for magnesium and electrolytes, we've got uh, just some Endura. Uh, so this one's pretty tasty. It doesn't, it actually isn't uh, very strong flavored, um, like what I was expecting. I was expecting something like Powerade, uh, but it still tastes pretty good. So I'm planning to use those little floppy water bottles uh, with, with this, and then just having the bladder full of just, just water. Uh, I went to Wild Earth uh, at DFO, uh, at the outlet there, and uh, I don't know too much about like uh, trail nutrition. So I said to one of the guys there, hey, just load me up with everything that you've got. Um, we're probably, we might be away for 39 hours, so I would prefer to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Uh, so we've got a whole bunch of uh, different meals, uh, snacks, uh, all the gels, um, different kind of, yeah, little trail snacks to go along the way. Actually digging into here, this is a uh, headlamp that I've got from Amazon as well. This seemed to do the job really well when we did that 2 a.m. hike, so I'll put the link uh, for that up there as well. Uh, that is the, the headlamp. Uh, digging into here, uh, we've got uh, a bunch of these meals. So these meals are really cool. I uh, actually haven't tried any yet, uh, but they're just a dry pack food. So you just add hot water to them, give them a stir for about five minutes, uh, and they're broken up into different calorie ranges. So all the meals that I got were 800 calories, and then all the meals that Shay got were either four or 600. Um, this one's basil pesto. Uh, this one is smoky barbecue, uh, it's 20, around 25, 27, 26 grams of protein. Uh, we've got peri peri. What else do we have? We have Indian curry. Uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty interested to try these and see see what they're like. Smoky barbecue, that's a 600 uh, calorie uh, version there. 
what else have we got? Um, Shay got this apple and cinnamon. It's kind of more like a breakfast breakfast one. Um, smoky barbecue again. Beef barbecue. That's a 600 calorie meal. Uh, but yeah, I think on the, the hikes that we've been on as well, like I weigh nine, oh, 88 kilos and I found that on the hikes that we've went, I've tried to have like a gel every hour, but I think I'm gonna actually need more than that when we're doing this. I would say at least every half an hour and I'm planning on having like a fair few sweet kind of treats like uh, M&Ms and Snickers and all that junk food just to kind of uh, give me something to look forward to as well, something sweet. I'm a very sweet tooth uh, person. And yeah, what I found on doing these trials over the last weeks is that uh, I'll, towards the end, I'll actually feel like pretty low. Like I feel like my blood sugar is getting a little bit lower. So I'm gonna need to make sure that I'm not letting my body get to that point. Uh, what else? I'll start to show you some of the bars here. So this was a solid um, sports food solid bar. I haven't tried one of these. The brand is uh, Morton uh, and looks like there's 25, uh, two, 225 calories in that bar. Uh, we've had a few of these goos, so the goos are actually pretty nice. Uh, I enjoy them. Um, there's another bar. We, we spent like $250 at this, uh, this Wild Earth uh, place. Um, another, another bar. What else have we got? Um, these energy chews, I actually don't know what's inside that, so uh, I'll be excited to try that for the first time. Another energy bar. Uh, we've got these uh, Stroop waffle, wild berries. There's 140 calories in this. Uh, yeah, I think it's just something different to, to snack on. It's like pretty healthy as well. Uh, these, actually these are really nice. So it is like a little gel, chewy, rect uh, chewy, cube uh, kind of thing. And yeah, this is actually pretty nice. There's 30 grams of carbs in this, so it's like jam-packed full of carbs as well. Uh, we've got a few different flavors with that. Uh, that one, uh, this one's mint, mint lemon. Uh, this one's just an original. Um, what else have we got? Uh, with the gels, I just got like a bunch of different flavors. The advice that I was given from the guy at Wild Earth was maybe not to have the ones with caffeine. I think caffeine might uh, dehydrate you a little bit and you don't really um, need, it's, they're probably better for the shorter duration um, runs or trails, I'm not sure. Uh, but most of them that we got are without caffeine. But I, I think throughout the night, I'm probably gonna need like some caffeine to keep me awake because if we're walking for over 24 hours, uh, it's not, it has. It hasn't. It's been a while since I've done an all-nighter like that. Uh, so another another chew, uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So I'll um, yeah tag uh, all all of this stuff in the uh, description below so you can check it out. Uh, if you're thinking about doing the Kokoda challenge, um, for me it's been a good goal to set. Uh, over the past uh, seven weeks, we've went out and we've done all these trials. And I know if we hadn't have uh, entered ourselves into something like this, it probably just, it, we wouldn't have gone out and done all these different trials. Uh, and it's, so it's really given us something to look forward to. And we're only a week away from it now. Uh, our team that we've got together is pretty excited. It's been good to get the, uh, the team together to do all these different trials. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope, that, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if you're thinking about doing something like this, I know that they've got uh, different levels. I think they've got a 30 kilometer one, uh, 50 kilometer, and then if you're feeling uh, ready to tackle the 96 and just jump straight into it, then they've got the big 96 kilometer uh, hike as well. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this video helps you and uh, keep crushing it.